Welcome to the West Gallery of St. Magnus Martyr London Bridge, where this organ has stood for over three centuries, inspiring congregations and standing as a testament to the skill of many of Britain's finest craftsmen. Unfortunately, due to the ravages of the Reformation, the Civil War, and the Great Fire of London, we know nothing of an organ here before 1712. The organ here was paid for and commissioned by the then Lord Mayor of London, who was also active as a Member of Parliament. The contract to make it went to one Abraham Jordan and his son, who lived just over the bridge in Southwark. They knew their reputations hung on how well they constructed this instrument, and so they needed to come up with a really special idea to sell it. They invented something which has since become a standard feature on organs across the world, the swell box. Abraham Jordan's idea was ingenious. Essentially, the idea was to put pipes inside a box one side of which was openable by a simple rope. Now, these days, it is openable instead by a pedal that I operate. It will give the effect of a crescendo and a decrescendo. Here is a crescendo. And now for the diminuendo. If you think of the organ as the original music mixing sound desk, essentially, Abraham Jordan had invented the fader. Apart from a few stops added by Spurden Rutt in 1924, most of the pipework we have today is Victorian. One of the great Victorian makers was William Hill, and he visited us at least twice to work on this instrument. During his first visit in 1859, William Hill added the great reeds, the trumpet and clarion. And he also added the harmonic flute on the great. one of my favourite stops. I will leave you with the sound of a full organ of St Magnus. In all its glory, heavy reeds singing out across the church. <laughs> 